Hey guys, Rollout here with another Cap Revolution Bottleman review. Today we're taking a look at BOTO2 Aquasports, who is the deuteragonist blaster of the series, the likes of Dravice or Garuda. He's what we used to call a rapid fire type, although this time they're calling it speed type, which I actually really like. It's streamlined, it's descriptive, and in this guy's case, actually has sort of a double meaning, which we will explore later on. We'll take a quick look at his bottle-like packaging. Aquasports is based off of various Japanese sports drinks, most specifically the brand Aquarius, which we don't typically have in the US, so I had to import this, but you can see that the logo is quite similar. Nothing particularly novel on this side or this side. Over here we have all of the included components, and on the front we have a picture with all of the stickers fully applied, so take a good look at that. Here is the sticker sheet, you can see that once again it has sort of a metallic sheen to it, and this is packed along with the assembly instructions, which I didn't even bother to look at. His bottle core has a unique visor shape and a smoky white color, which is very similar to those sports drinks. The bottle cap is removable. You get two of these included, one in a lighter blue color meant for the top of his head, and one in a darker color meant as general ammunition, but both of these are the exact same size. Here it is in comparison to the Aquarius bottle cap, so you can see the logos side by side. Interestingly, this isn't quite as accurate as the Coke bottle cap was in the Kolamaru review, but the grip is quite similar, and this will perform just fine. Now, we don't exactly have an equivalent to this in the US. The sports drink market is very different, but considering this is a Coca-Cola company product, the closest thing I could find was Powerade. It's not exact, but it'll do. And you can see that height-wise, these are quite similar, but the grip style is very different, and unfortunately, this will not perform quite as well. But if you have an abundance of these, they will work. Finally, here is a comparison to the official ammunition. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at the specifics of his core. The trigger pad is much smaller than Kolomaru's, but still quite comfortable, also not removable. Additionally, he has rollers on his hold parts, which make overcoming the grip on a bottle cap extremely easy. Firing this guy is smooth as butter. Something else worth mentioning is that this is the only one of the first three Bottlemen that doesn't have any significant stress marks on his core. Now his arm parts do a really good job at preventing this, but also I think that the slightly opaque plastic is just a more flexible material and therefore more resistant. Funny enough, I think that Kolomaru actually has more dragon-like leg parts than the actual dragon guy here, who has almost Gundam-looking feet. I find these shapes a little bit difficult to rest your fingers on, making the blaster sort of difficult to ground. It's got decent surface area, though. You can see it has these extended heels, which help support his magazine. The thing is, is that Kolomaru and Gyokurok's leg parts also don't have any trouble supporting his magazine, so I'm not entirely sure if this was worth it. I think that overall, Aquasports probably has the weakest leg parts of the three. Just like the others, this hooks onto the front of the core and snaps in at the back. The arm parts have a couple of claws up front and these dragon wings that sweep back. These attach directly to the hold parts, which sort of naturally split apart because of the way they're assembled, but once you attach the arm parts, it sandwiches everything together and makes that irrelevant. Now just like on Kolomaru, you can press on the claws to increase the power of his shots, but notice how the wings sort of separate up top here. That will become important in just a moment. Also recognize these limiters here, which stop the arms from squeezing in too far. This detail also specifically relieves tension from that point of concern on Kolomaru, where we saw massive stress marks. You can also see a couple of slots up top here, and this is where the magazine is going to attach. 
This accessory is comprised of two pieces. It has a channel internally to reduce friction and a rail on either side where it connects to the wings with a soft detent. Now this doesn't actually connect to the core in any way, and unfortunately the right hand side on my copy is a little loose, causing it to sometimes become crooked. While this is annoying, it doesn't actually stop a bottle cap from feeding all the way into the core, so it doesn't actually bother me too much. Another feature of the magazine is that it connects the wings together so that the arms don't move around too much when you fire the blaster. This dual support keeps the hold parts super solid, and this guy's performance is ridiculously consistent. He can hold three bottle caps, meaning that you need another bottle man, an official reload pack, or recycled bottle caps in order to reach full capacity. Now, he doesn't actually rapid fire very quickly. The rollers help a little bit, but bottle caps simply take longer to drop into the chamber than marbles do. That said, just having additional capacity gives him a clear advantage. It does come with one unfortunate downside, though, and it's that Aquasports is able to jam in a way that Kolomaru and Gyokurok cannot. You can actually get a bottle cap stuck in his head between the core and the magazine, and the only way to fix this is by jostling him around a little bit, which doesn't feel very good. Also, if you improperly set a bottle cap and then load another one on top of it, this can be harder to rectify. Now this is going to cause you to stall several times during a battle if you're not careful, and this is easily Aquasport's biggest flaw. Let's not forget his head crest, which obviously has a dragon motif. It has these horns, or ears, or fins. It has these whiskers down below. Then it has these spiky details, and honestly, I'm not sure what those are supposed to represent, but it gives the whole thing this kind of masquerade shape, and I'm sort of into it. This easily clips around his bottle cap, and it actually extends above his head, giving you a point of reference when aiming your shots. This technically makes it more competitively viable than Kolomaru's, but personally, I don't think it looks as cool. For comparison, here he is with a couple of other Azure Dragons, and between this guy and the Vermilion Bird, it makes me wonder if we'll also see a white tiger and a black tortoise at some point in Bottleman. What's cool is that all three of these blasters are very different types. Drassian is power, Bakuso is accuracy, and then of course Aquasports is speed type. It makes them kind of an interesting trio. Before we do some Beastie V tests, I'm sorry, but I've got to give another disclaimer. The readings you're about to see here are going to be kind of insane. The lightweight nature of bottle caps paired with a lack of resistance from his rollers and the tension from his arms make this guy's shots extremely fast. But unlike Beatemon, there's this phenomenon with Bottlemen where speed doesn't translate to power the way you expect it to. The hollow plastic shape of a bottle cap transfers force differently than a marble, and somehow the physics involved allow a Bottleman to sacrifice power in the name of pure speed. While Aquasport shots might be very quick, Kolomaru actually still has a higher impact potential. What you need to realize, though, is that Aquasports is always going to hit the target first, which is still a very valuable attribute, and this gives speed type a whole new meaning. We'll start with the official ammunition and without any charge. His normal shots? are faster than Kolomaru's charge shots. Next, we'll try the Aquarius bottle cap. Then 
This one is just an enigma, I guess. I don't know if it's the color, the shape, the size, the speed. I can't seem to get a proper reading on it, so your guess is as good as mine. Let's try the Powerade bottle cap then. The rollers have no problem getting around its irregular grip, but it's still weirdly slow and not very good. After that, going back to the official bottle cap and testing some charge shots is going to be even more impressive. Now, some people on YouTube measure in kilometers per hour. This is meters per second, by the way. By Beatamon standard, even by Bottleman standard so far, this is insanely fast. Let's put that speed to the test with some target practice. First, we're going to do some rapid fire shots using these Powerade bottles. And all three shots are going to be official ammunition using two extras from one of the official reload packs. Now, you can fire Aquasports with a single hand by placing your finger on top of his head here and reloading as you fire. But honestly, he's not super optimized for this. And personally, I find it a little uncomfortable. Turns out he's got a little bit of style too. Like I said, he doesn't rapid fire too quickly, but it's better than reloading after every single shot. Now let's do some single power shots by adding tension to his arms. Now, I can't imagine this was an intentional feature, but he tends to shoot a little high, sort of like Spike Phoenix, actually. Now, this is super annoying when shooting at a puck target, because if you're not mindful, sometimes he will shoot right over the top of it. But incidentally, it makes him especially effective at knocking down bottles. Okay, let's be fair. On average, Kolomaru can still push a battle puck further and knock down heavier targets. Yokurok has a far more stable control shot, and Aquasport's bottle caps tend to wobble, making him less effective at shooting through gaps. But at the end of the day, pretty much any solid plastic object moving 12 meters per second is going to pack a friggin' punch. The sheer speed of his shots also makes them pretty darn accurate, too, because typically they don't have enough time to veer off course. He might not shoot between targets very well, but he has no problem hitting them outright. Basically, this guy has more than enough power and accuracy to get the job done. Not only that, his core is resistant to stress marks, his arms actively prevent them, he's got rollers, additional capacity, and he's so consistent, it's stupid. I'm gonna say it, Aquasports is easily the best out of the first three bottlemen, by a long shot. So much so, I'd almost claim that it's an objective fact. If you're gonna get one bottle man, this is the obvious choice. Just make sure to get some additional bottle caps. Until next time, this has been Rollout, signing off.